Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here today to show you how to make a very cheap microphone for your oscilloscope. And our microphone is simply going to be the telephone microphone. And this is an old telephone that I have from many, many years ago that I no longer use. And uh, it comes in very useful for making a adapter for my oscilloscope to monitor sound. And to connect it to the oscilloscope, you're going to have to buy one of these dual jack plates. They're about $5 at the hardware shop. And take out the top jack and instead tie on a 9-volt battery. And you're going to need a 9-volt battery clip, which we're now going to connect, because these microphones are electric-type microphones, and they only work when they have a voltage source. So, if we look at the plate, we actually see that we've got four connections on the back. So, you want to take the connection off here and move it over to here. So, as you can see, we've got two connections onto this. We've got the red and the green, and this connection is not used. We just moved them over there to free up this terminal. And we connect in our positive from the battery onto this terminal, and also this resistor. This is a 47K ohm resistor and that connects onto this terminal over here. On this terminal we connect our negative from the battery and you can see that connects on to the black that goes out to the handset. And this terminal over here you can see that we've got a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and we also have the yellow connection that goes out to the handset. So that's our microphone connection right there, positive and negative. Um, we have a capacitor in there because all we're interested in is the AC waveform, so it blocks the DC from coming through. And that's all there is to it. So our handset should work once we connect it up to the oscilloscope. So your oscilloscope probe goes on to the negative connection right here for the ground. And the positive tip of your probe goes on to here. I'm going to put this down, and if I pick up the handpiece and start speaking into it, we should start getting a signal coming through. It appears that we've got a bad connection right now, so let's try again. Hello, 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 there we go. So we're now getting a signal that is coming through from the microphone, which matches my voice. And it's very, very interesting to watch your own voice on an oscilloscope. So that's all there is to getting one of these telephone handsets to work with an oscilloscope. And you can actually do things like whistle into it and get pure sine waves. So let's see how that works. So if we go to a higher time base, we're currently on 5 milliseconds right now. If we go down to 250 microseconds and do that whistle again, we should be able to see the sine wave. And we can see the components of the speech too when I speak. And you know you've got this circuit right when you see a nice even sine wave coming through. And uh, you may have to play around with your resistor value depending on your microphone to get it right. And I would recommend that you start with a high value and work your way down to a low value. And it will also depend on the type of battery that you use. If you use a one and a half volt battery, then you're going to use a much lower value resistor. And if you want to see the actual circuit for this, I have it right here. So it's a very, very simple circuit. And that's all you need to do to get your microphone to work with an oscilloscope. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.